Skills USA is a career and technical education organization that brings together students, educators, and industry to meet the growing skills gap by teaching and promoting framework skills. While Nash Community College has always had the same mission, the Skills USA framework has provided us with a common vocabulary. Well, we had uh, uh, we have a self-study for our NIMS accreditation, which is a national accreditation for our students. And part of that was that we compete in some form of competition for our students. So our uh, we decided we were going to try to compete in Skills USA, and uh, we were reluctant about it because we have so much to do. We have almost a million dollars worth of equipment to take care of. We have uh, 30, usually about 30 hours of load to teach every semester, and it just it was one more thing to add to our plate. So it's very difficult. Uh, once we got involved with it, though, it was probably one of the most rewarding things of my career. We took, we took our first student to Skills USA. He won the state and we went to nationals. And I tell everybody that I talk to about Skills USA, I guess my one line that I like to use is that if you're worried about who's going to take care of us when we get old, I've seen it. You know, the students at Skills USA, state and national, things they do the pride they take in what they do and how wonderfully they do it. With very little guidance a lot of times, uh, it's just super impressive. Well, with cosmetology, of course, you know the students have to go out and um, meet the public, relate to the public, so they need all those personal, those soft skills, um, they need all those um, technical skills, and Skills USA has built the framework for us um, so that it has a name so that the students will understand what they're doing, so as they're passing down the hallways, um, they can read technical skills, they can read personal skills on the doors, um, and so that they can remember all day that you got to be careful about what you're doing, how you do it, what you say, which always fall into that framework of um, the Skills USA program. And so that's one of the reasons why we have those things up on the wall, so they can read it all day long. Um, their very first day of class during our orientation, they find out about the Skills USA program and the Skills USA um, framework. So from the beginning to the end, it runs all the way through with our program as far as Skills USA is concerned because it's a big part of their lives and it will help them um, in the long run, run if they um, participate with everything and we try to encourage them to participate and we try to encourage them to use the framework because it is a plus on their behalf if they're using it. Well, I have found that what we do in the classroom for our students is a lot of what they do at Skills USA anyway. Um, but we have a lot of hands-on labs where students are in our classrooms taking apart computers, putting computers back together, um, doing all of the things that they would be doing in competition, uh, but we just do it on a smaller scale in our classroom, uh, pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, yeah, I think the um, students gained a lot more confidence um, after competing with students. Uh, on a, you know, a corporate type level, um, um, you know, when they're actually competing, um, they're actually getting some real world experience, um, just like they would out in the field. And um, the end result is that they, uh, I think they gain a lot more confidence. I, as an instructor, actually got a lot out of it as well, um, getting that kind of feedback from um, how well they did in competition or how well they didn't do in competition kind of closes that loop, the information loop of, of uh, how well this inf information I'm giving them in labs and class, classroom setting, to um, how well they're going to be able to apply it. Well, going to the um, competition is different than, I guess, talking about it and seeing it on paper. When you finally get there, you see a lot more people there. Um, there's a lot of involvement between, I guess, the students and the teachers. So it's sort of a di different atmosphere. So um, sort of, you're sort of in the moment. So when you sort of like you get sort of a competition thing going on, and you see all the people there, and it's like you got to win. And so and then I didn't realize how much of uh, Nash Community College was actually out there. So seeing a lot of them out there was sort of a big boost to to represent for Nash Community College. Being able to, I can't even really think of. A, way to describe it, but getting the medal and placing for the first time, it's kind of exciting and is kind of a big deal for everyone else at the National Community College too. 
So for my first time going and getting a medal was made everyone happy. <laughs>